So the, in this problem, this is a again a praxis um, two review question for geometry. It's for the the 0061 test, but probably applies for many of the tests. We have the square, a baseball diamond, and um, it's a square on 90 degrees on its side. So let me just do my sketch of that. This is our baseball diamond. And of course, if I had drawn this perfectly, every side would be equal. And that's that's what the baseball diamond is. We know that each side is 90 feet long. In this question, they want to know what is the approximate length of the diagonal of the baseball diamond. So there's diagonal. How long is that? Um, it, in a scale model, where 9 feet equals 1 inch. So, so they want the answer in inches. So then I'm going to rewrite this in terms of inches, right? If 9 feet equals 1 inch, 90 feet equals 10 inches. And all I did there was I'm just set up a little ratio. 9 feet to 1 inch. So if I have 90 feet, I've multiplied by 10, 1 inch will be 10 inches, right? So this is actually a, a 10 inch side. And, and this is 10 inches over here because we have, we have a, a square. So we want to know what x is. Well, these are and a square, right? Every every edge, every two edges meet at a right angle. So this is a right triangle with our two legs equal to 10, 10 inches. So it's 10 inches squared plus 10 inches squared equals our hypotenuse squared, right? So that's 200 equals x x squared. And then, well, what does x equal? Hmm. Well, x equals the square root of 200. And what does that equal? Well, <clears throat> look at our choices right here. 13, 13 is too small. 15 is too big. 14 is a, it's a fairly good estimate. And we have a calculator on this test. So the, the square root of 200 is 14.1421356.2. So that's, that's the answer there. It's about 14, put approximately. I'm wondering though because um, do they do they say oh they say they do say what is the approximate length it's kind of a hint that because um, I was getting worried for a moment that we have an irrational square root and a bunch of whole numbers here um, that that is their hint to be rounding on this question the next question we have um, a question about the volume of a right triangular prism and the and the the general strategy for the volume of a prism is the area of a, of the base shape in this case a triangle times height and and all we know is that the um, excuse me the height is 25 inches it says okay and the bases are equilateral triangles that are four inches on a side okay so we don't know the the area of the bases yet but we do know we have an equilateral triangle let me sketch that out this is my equilateral triangle that's four inches on each side. So if I want to know the the area of this triangle, I've got to find the height. So I drop this this line down right here, this altitude, and then I can see that I form two right triangles. I can use the Pythagorean theorem to find this missing height. So what we did was we dropped this line down, and the whole th the whole base of this triangle is four. If we drop this line down and cut it in half, how long will this be right here? Well, it'll be half, it'll be two. So one leg is two squared, right? That's maybe a squared. Then we don't know b squared. Yeah, that's the height we're trying to find that. And we have our hypotenuse, which is four, so hypotenuse squared is four squared. And then b squared will equal 16 minus four or 12, right? b squared equals 12. So b equals the square root of 12. So what's the area of this triangle? Well, the area of a triangle is the, the base of the triangle, 4, times the height of the triangle, which we just established was the square root of 12. So the area of the triangle is 4 times the square root of 12, but then it's cut in half. It's divided in 2. So it's 2 times the square root of 12. That's the area of our triangle on the base, 2 times the square root of 12. So basically, it's that times the height, which is 50 
square root of 12. And we can evaluate that on our, on our calculator. 50 times the, the square root of 12 is 173.205, and we're rounding it to the nearest whole number. So it's 173 cubic inches. We're finding volume, and the answer is C. All right, hope that helped.